All right, we are live. We are live. Nope, nope. Yay, I guess. Yes, no, no, yes, everything's fine. I have bad connection. I already have frame drops. Perfect. Well, I can't do anything about it, so... Hello everyone, I am the Gary. This is my face! <laughs> Big face reveal, yay, I have a camera. Why I look at the monitor and why I don't look up there? This is new to me. All right, what we are going to do today... Yeah, not Minecraft. I love Minecraft, but on Twitch, I want different things. All righty. Um, on Twitch, right now, I, so you can read it already in the info that I want SCP. I love SCP. I love the SCP, the whole thing of it. I'm going to put my phone away just a sec. Brilliant. And recently it just released and I hope, I hope it's gonna be amazing. I'm a scaredy cat. I don't like horrors. Well, I love horror games. I love horrors, everything. But I get scared easily. Like very, very easily. <laughs> All right, just a second. If I have connection issue, sorry. I, I literally can't do anything about it. <laughs> I, I need to order a better internet. <laughs> but yeah, um, all right. Let's crack on SCP, the secret files. I don't know anything about this game. It just, that is released and it's a really good game. So it's overwhelmingly positive. The Steam reviews. I'm a scared cat. I'm I'm gonna die. <laughs> All right. Let's hop into this. And yes. I want English. Please don't close the game when this he can appear saving Pixmane. I love indie horror games. I'm going to play a lot of indie horror. Is this on? Alrighty, ah, SCP, love it. I love the whole concept of the SCP and the SCP Foundation. I, I was always a fan after it came out, the little animations about SCP Explained. I just loved it. I just loved it. Still, until this day, I watch every single one of the videos. <laughs> I'm Carl. No, I'm Gary. Carl Asma. No, I'm the Gary. <laughs> A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. Beckham started when the main sitting up. Well, uh, it was too fast. After seeing... Oh, choices. After seeing that we were that there were other empty table in the restaurant, I said to this man, uh, excuse me, I don't believe you. I know something I can help. Look, this seat occupies. Find yourself another table. I will be rather rude if a man just sit in front of me <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Without any question, the man continued talking to himself. You look as though you're, you're graduating soon and clearly you need a job. Huh? Well, I just happen. We have just the job for you. The man paused. Mysteri um, mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Thank you, but I'm having just a mysterious and wonderful, huh? 
I would love a job like that. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He ended up a business card, both of <laughs> business card were black uh, and three white letters printed neatly on the side. SCP. Carl. Yes. Honorable Carl asks my congratulations on becoming a big Becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise. And we are firmly believe that you are the one we, are, we have been searching for. You will assume the position of assistant archivist in the archive department. Uh, that's In the SCP Foundation, that's a kind of an easy job. <laughs> At least not a D class. Group read, read, director check, blah, blah, blah. Please go to your security office. All right, let's go. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna have a jump scare and I'm gonna kick my laptop or my camera out, I'm very sorry. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. What's that? That we founded the SCP Foundation. An organization Which one was the big one? Containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear while ordinary people live in the What the? Who are you? Which SCP? We must prevent them from being exposed to the public so that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure. Contain and protect. <laughs> Please don't tell me 682 gonna be there. These, these are the container cells. Wow, probably just uh, not for big SCPs. This looks like how do you contain like I don't know, very dangerous one like 682. 682 can fit in a small container like this. No, the reptile need its own literally room filled with acid. Oh, yeah, so slow. Okay, mission statement operating. Blah, 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 foundation. Oh, wow. Secure. All right. Unit. I, I'm just an archivist, guys. I'm just an archivist. I need nothing. I, this is probably a very, very paid job. Can I go in somewhere? Nope. And I don't have to deal with the big lizard and I don't have to deal with anything else. So, okay, just a second. I think I'm going to... Sorry. Sorry. I just want my stream to be a little bit more smooth all right there's gonna be as what oh this is so cool they're gonna be puzzles they are gonna be <laughs> spooky scary stuff i just love it Let's work for probably a million dollar per month to archive everything. 
I'm born in 89, yep. <laughs> that, that's the one correct. <laughs> you will have access to classified and top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidential causes and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulation and guidelines. Or I'm gonna be terminated. I'm just a level one person. Oh, welcome to SCP Foundation. Before starting your work, please allow us to introduce to you to the software used by our archive department. Each day, your superior will assign tests to the mission module. Uh, when there is a new test, the button will blink red. Communicating with the site relies primarily on the instant messaging system, where information is processed using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to the blinking red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective mean of information sharing with the foundation. New employees must, must first be in new employee training before they may begin work. This page shows uh, public information of all sites around the world. You can view the information at any time. This concludes the introduction. We wish you success in your work. I'm gonna die. All right, the, these are site 17. Uh, level D fugitive. No. D33921 uh, from site 17 was recently found in the eastern region of Mexico. The foundation has dispatched a new MTF to arrest him. It is reported that D33921 has obtained all special operations knowledge after drinking the clear water of SCP. 769, this allowing him to break through many obstacles and successfully escape. Containment breach. Critically and dangerous species have been discovered in Guatemala sinkhole one after another. Foundation agents believe it may be uh, related to the previous SCP 994. Which one is 994? Hmm. Site 19. Site 19 is facing a shortage of D class. Yeah, because you're sacrificing every D class personnel. Every single one of them. <laughs> According to the Foundation Experiment Research uh, Sharing Protocol, Site 105 uh, will temporarily transfer 40 D class person. Do you think 40 D class gonna be enough in Site 19? Every day they're going to sacrifice like a hundreds. Separate operations, site 19 experience. Uh, yep, site 73 sites. Scientists at site 73 have created super material capable of releasing and absorbing extraordinary amount of energy. The Anomaly Development Department hopes to construct new containment facilities using this super material. That's actually, that's, that's actually nice. That's actually nice. Friends! How the mission go? Did the information was them close to lucky? I can send the feeling. Oh, I think I could. Good morning. Good morning. Can I write? Can I write something? How can I mess with these people? <laughs> uh, I can't write my. <laughs> my name is Carl. No, my name is Gary. Bi oh, biology and phil uh, philosophy. Eh. Stuart, <laughs> little icon is epic. <laughs> That's my everyday face. <laughs> MIT is not popular, of course not. SCP is a little bit higher level. <laughs> Prestigious graduates and the foundation throws them all archive department. <laughs> Have you a comfy forget about Jonathan? <laughs> yep. Or Jonathan just get it get eaten. Contact with SCP 999 Huh? Uh, wait, what? Contact with SCP 999 during working hours is strictly for for uh, I have a stroke. 
prohibited. Why? SCP-999 is a tickle monster. We need SCP-999 for a good moral in workplace. <laughs> Tragedy. I, I told you. I told you. Jonathan died. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I can't even eat a medium rare steak anymore. <laughs> Poor Jonathan. An accident? There is accidents every single day with the SCP Foundation. Class D personal, oh no. Archive Decorment Relief Station. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's actually true. <laughs> Jack, if any, any are planning uh, getting serious work done, please do me a favor, just sh shut up. <laughs> so long as you hear the working uh, department, uh, blah, blah, blah. This archives mission completely, unless some places still need modification, got it. Grant. All right, give me. I'm going to download it. I'm going to go. Don't push yourself too hard. Got it. Okay, that's uh, the class A archive must be handed uh, in by the end of the day. I still don't know what I should do. The archives department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing con containment archives. But no need to hurry, young man. You'll need to attend a new employee on board training first before you can begin work at the foundation officially. My, uh, the system will send you a meeting notice. All right. Bye. Hey, Director Or. Yep. I am to be given the chance to work here at the Archives Department. That's actually a very nice job in the SCP Foundation. So. Um, concerning. <laughs> if there's gonna be a jump scare in the next ten five minutes, <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> New employee on board training was said by Doctor Ham. You will suffer, Car. Thank you very much. So everybody's so nice. <laughs> Continue, especially guys. You have no no. Oh. Move it. Remember, Carl. Stay sane and always in a system notice. Mail that. I can't even click on anything else. First class, Raymond Ham, Andreas meeting room 1106, sector A. Join. Access account. Done. Uh, where is going to be a containment breach? There's going to be a serious containment breach. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. Jane for clemency. He has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. <laughs> he is he's a dead man. On completion of his work will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503. Day one. Wait, I'm the D-class. Shush. No. I'm the D-class? Oh, please, guys, no, 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 no. D-503. They said I'm gonna be an archivist. Can I crouch? Just a sec. I already hate this. Mm. 
I'm I'm already jumpy. I'm already jumpy just with a simple buzz. <sighs> there I am. Five hundred three was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Objective: collect the waste. All right. And there, there I am. Don't tell me that I'm in the uh, Red Lake. Red, oh, the, the 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 lake in a different dimension. There is the big uh, two-handed monsters. All right, chill, relax, relax, relax. Damage petrol tank, all right. So far so good. So far really so good. All right, all right, get it. I'm cool. Just a sign. Roadblock. Ah, I don't trust the Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't trust anything in this game. Can I? Can I escape? move to the incinerator and what if I just throw off can I actually do that can I actually just leave uh no <laughs> evil barriers why did you forsake me <laughs> why can't I just simply leave if I will be a D-class. Oh wow, I have a flying car. Brilliant. I I and I would literally give this task a car in a desert. I will just leave. I will just simple leave. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, please pull down the lever to confirm. Yes. Don't tell me that that, that uh, it's all right. How do you incinerate like a hundred and <laughs> like a fifty kilogram metal pipe? <laughs> it's going to give some smoke. Yep. This was D five o three's first day of work. Pretty. F Boring. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Alright, nothing happened with me. Please take the level 2 mental test. Alright. Please dra drag the left graphic fragment into the back, blah, 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 back square to fill the whole area. Um, all right. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Um, what? Can can I? Can I? Easy. Houston, I have a problem. Nope. This. Yep. This. Yep. Dumb. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. 
All right, 29. Let's eat something, let's go to sleep and crack on on another day. And collect some trash, because that's our job with the S. You are a piece of garbage. And I still eat <laughs> from the floor. All right. I hate this. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. What, what's gonna happen? You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Because probably I'm gonna die? Well, the D class gonna die. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now yeah. is SCP-7457. Yeah. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. All right. As a precaution, I told we have you. introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton. Third Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. All right. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? Because it's the That's place. That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation yep. is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In a video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Keep them busy. Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay. Let's move on. All right, they too. Yep, they too. All right, all right, all right, all right. Probably this is... The first is... week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. A day? All right, all right, all right, I'm here. So, this is just a bad place. All right, let's collect everything. Uh, And let's let's collect some garbage. Let's have a look at what happened. No. Please don't. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it that it's gonna be dark. Oh no. So this is basically a place killing everything, but how... Oh, Alright. I don't like this. Come on. Chop chop. The place changed. Even the environment changed. 
the big barrel. Throw the iron bucket. Brilliant. Next one. So... I don't know which SCP is this. There are so many. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Broken air conditioner. Okay, how this trash is actually just manifest here. If everything is locked and this this whole place nobody can come in, how this trash and these items just appear in here. And it's really dark. to touch it well that's my job black spindle a spindle of thick black cable that is wound to tight to see what's inside it's much heavier than it looks and nobody knows why it takes a lot of effort to carry 110 kilogram well let's burn it I hope I can survive that. If this entity have pain receptors, it's just gonna fight back. Oh, Jesus, driving this car is tricky. I don't like this black thingy thing, the black spindle. What's happening? However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. Hmm. It was moaning. The thing was moaning. Oh, all right. Again, mental test. Please select three pictures with triangle. A triangle. Oh, oh my god. I'm blind. Select three pictures that calculation result are equal to five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh... I need a calculator for this. <laughs> Oh, easy, sorry. Testing personal, today's... all right. So it took eight days to actually encounter our first anomaly. Eight days! The, uh, this is a long... That night, D3's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. That's just my normal self. Thank you. You don't Analysis have to take care of us. <laughs> take care of it. <laughs> and what are we dreaming? Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. No. No. Don't tell me that my camera is off. Yeah, I have uh, problems. What's this? Significant turning point. The start 
of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Yeah, there is a lot, actually. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. Yeah. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. Steel. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. All right, so... Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? You're sassy. Okay, everyone. You're a sassy girl. <laughs> Ryan left. <laughs> ...is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. <sighs> Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Yeah. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. No, you don't. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst, even for a death row inmate. Um, please don't. No, no, no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, what's, what's this wires and... Oh, this is how it's manifested the trash. This was literally brand new. D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. Handheld radar, World War II time, there's a lot of... However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. Oh, there's probably from a different uh, D-class who died here. Yeah, okay. Let's go, collect some trash! Before this is gonna be a problem in our world. Oh, wow, oh, no. There is another big heavy thing. This is... These are probably dead bodies. Like, dead D-class. It's, it's even look like a humanoid shape. What? What? You are a new SCP. <laughs> I, I, I can push you. <laughs> or you just came alive by yourself. All right, come on. Let's burn the bodies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, sorry. You know what? Then I'm going to just reverse. Alrighty, let's let's just burn the bodies. I'm 100 percent that they're, they're like dead D-class or just dead people there. Yes, yes, please Persistent incinerate. Logical reactions proved to be a challenge. Why? He still managed to complete his work on day 15. Yeah, the, the guy is moaning. <laughs> that that was the moaning was. An incident. Uh oh. No smoke. A 
sandstorm. Oh no. Oh no. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Why didn't you just stay in the incinerator? Was that black smudge? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm actually playing. Oh, wow, all right. Then follow the black smudge. Oh, there are clay cables. All right. Oh, uh, no, I, I really don't like this. Really don't like this. So we are going to archive this guy's death. I'm playing this guy right now. So I'm gonna experience his death. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, there is nothing around, nothing behind. What's this little outpost here? Yep, this 24, wait, we had 8, this is different, the... D503 managed to find a site, just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion, a site he was not familiar with. Oh no. Oh no. Why are you whispering? Go check a doctor. Ah, uh, this is... This is another D-class. I can walk. Lie. Everything is a lie, yeah. We D-class and the SCP Foundation, we know that. Oh, poor guy, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, just simple cables. Okay, I thought they are worms. I literally thought that they are verbs. Yep, yep, we died. Horrible ways. Have you ever experienced? Hmm. That's strange. Call from an unknown voice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Day 16. Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Um, yeah. Take a level. Two mental test. Yeah. Oh. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D-503's physiological data. Hmm. The poor guy is so dead. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Yeah, but the guy is still... Yeah, but the guy is still, like, infected, or I don't know. D-503 was able to break away from the Foundation's control. What? He has seen the test results of other level D personnel. D-12. And SCP-7457. That's right. None of the level D personnel and SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Finally! What I wanted to do 
from the very first day just drew off. Just literally just leave. <laughs> that, that's what I do, I will do, that's for sure. Oh no. Come on. Okay. Another dead body. And we crash. And we die. Just moaning the poor guy. <laughs> what? B503 heard the call. I can't hear Humans often anything. Humans believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. No. Well, maybe. They don't realize. A small part of this world. Out mm. there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Yeah, probably. How? What is that? Yeah, there's the phone booth. But what the surrounding? We gonna be dead very soon. Like shredded apart. Holy hell. Alright. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> A dead D class. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. How cool is that? <laughs> was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. All right. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. All right. The foundation has tested 31 level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Oh wow, that's... Our testing continues. When you work for the foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. <laughs> Before joining the Foundation, you were all Please leaders tell me in that your 682 respective gonna be in there. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants 
when confronted with these anomalies. Yep. <laughs> Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not yep. as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Because God is locked down in the SCP Foundation. Welcome to the Foundation, yep. rookies. <laughs> I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. It was terrifying. Thank you very much. I have PTSD now. <laughs> Probably the poor guy just shaking. Training course has ended. Please add your comments. That's a one hey, <laughs> online video meeting. Yep, yep, it was perfect. I don't really feel. God, it helped me. I only saw a Boy Scout instructor scaring a rookie. Nope. God, it helped me realize. Yeah, yeah, don't strictly abide the rules. Oh, I'm not sticking and sent home like Jonathan. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I get the last period. <laughs> yes. After I would have my very first lesson like this, I would, I don't know, just, just be in shock. <laughs> Watching people like 30 D class to die. Or maybe not. The, the, there is the amount of money what I would, yeah, like a love, and I would not care. <laughs> Probably he get like I don't know so fucking much. Happy face, day one. The past hour has been torture. <laughs> I don't know how the others managed to hold it. I messed up <laughs> during the trains. Uh... Session jumped off of a cliff, fell into an icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I can recall any of this because I have no memory of uh, ever visiting any cliff or waterfalls. But it was so real. I can even taste it in my mouth now, full of the full taste of the river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that may make my stomach feel better. Stomach feel better. SCP-999, where are you? I need hugs. I need cuddles. Again. All right, there is anything new? Oh, there is a next area. Site 06. Uh, well, I... Uh... Wait, I am close to this site. Fugitive robot SCP-2040 was found on a farm southern uh, of San Diego, California, and has been effectively... Uh... I have a stroke. <laughs> Effectively contained by MTF. Pacification and amnestics for witness is still ongoing. According to the uh, assessment, impact of this incident will exceed last year cocoon incident. How Europe is close? And why are you containing a San Diego robot in Europe? Yesterday, five members of the Church of the Broken God forcefully entered size, uh, Site 06 and um, armed with rifles engaged in a fierce confrontation with the site security personnel. Two hours later, four of the armed rioters were killed and the last was wounded and arrested. The purpose of their uh, invasion has not yet been disclosed to the public. At present, Site 06 has temporarily upgraded its uh, security measures and is considering whether uh, to transfer key containment items. Yeah. Site. Which one? Site 77. Artwork by SCP 067. Exhibition can now be found on Site 77. 
SCP-067 is... I don't know. This art exhibition brings together uh, carefully selected uh, 067 creations made between the year 2003 to 2011, including the famous Rassus, that one, impression. The exhibition lasts for seven days. All right, there is site 45. Uh, what are you? Can I just see? The other, hmm. nothing, I, I can't click on anything else. Okay, friends, so hey, got it. Got it. Gimme. Stuart. Gimme. Hey, Jack. What? I'm being assessed to field work again. Uh oh. Something went wrong with site 74 personnel from other departments went to provide support. So we need to take more field works. I just need uh, our department should be renewed. Relief station. Stop complaining, Black Car. How do you feel today? Ready for a new job. Just keep the money flow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is your first mission. Perfect. Review the archives and organize them according to their requirements. Do not uh, understand that, uh, underestimate the task at hand. Go and finish it. Leave it to me. Check out mom. Yay. I'm going to die. <laughs> Gant, strictly follow the regulation and do not act on your own without authorization. Okay, that's actually a good advice. I would, yeah. Usually asshole guys are giving the best advice. Thanks, got it. He gonna probably die tomorrow at site 74. That reminds me of uh, my first mission. Wubble up a dub dub. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Files. 